Hello guys, uh, this is Sam once again uh, from compwithfixsupport.co.uk uh, Today I'm coming up with another tutorial guys uh, We're still on the web pro on, on sorry, not on the web press uh, We're still on the Microsoft Access uh, series uh, in, this in this series guys, we're going to learn how to do primary keys and how to change primary keys uh, basically how to set or change primary keys in Microsoft Access 2010 this is Microsoft Tax 2010 which is open guys and we're going to learn how to do this. Uh, there's something that we need to know uh, before we start. Uh, personally, primary keys they are automatically created by Microsoft Taxes uh, when you add a table. Uh, they are automatically created. Uh, in this series we're going to learn how you change that, how you change the primary key that they automatically created uh, to your customized primary key to what you want to be the primary key so let's get on with it guys uh, please subscribe to the channel if you really enjoyed this tutorial and watch our more videos uh, please comment below guys uh, it really helps us uh, to improve our tutorials uh, we're trying to make this tutorial as fun as possible please comment below uh, <laughs> so, <coughs> sorry guys, let's get start, start. Uh, this is the Microsoft Access, um, uh, this is, uh, a table, uh, database, um, for the events, it's a template. Uh, what we want to do, let me just close this, I don't need this. Uh, when I open Microsoft Access, the thing that we want to do, uh, is to create and we hit table. Uh, when you create a table and then you view design, uh, it will ask you to save the table as just save it as whatever you want to save it and, uh, sorry guys and hit ok as you can see um, Microsoft Access uh, has defaultly uh, created a primary key which is the ID and the, the data types is auto number what this does Microsoft is responsible for putting up the numbers are uh, going up uh, the thing that we want to do uh, for example we may add another one uh, we don't need the ID to be the primary key we want our own data our own field name uh, to be the primary key uh, not the default Microsoft access key but our own uh, we do this by inserting another field name underneath uh, uh for example we may add the zip code uh maybe our data name and it may be text here on data types you choose how what it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be in note numbers i'll just choose numbers uh just to lead just for this tutorial uh now just numbers for, or text let me just leave text uh the thing that you do next guys uh is sorry uh, uh the thing that you do next guys uh is to come here and just highlight the whole row and you right click it and choose primary key uh, when you hit primary key as you can see uh, the primary key on the ID uh, gets removed and it comes to zip code that's all there is to it guys unless if you want the ID to be the primary key you do the same thing right click primary key but as I said before we want to change it to zip code the next thing you want to do guys uh, if this don't work uh, let me just remove everything I want this to be the primary key as you can see there's no primary key uh, here on our design uh, the thing that we want to do is to hit create and after we hit create uh, uh, no we hit design sorry guys uh, and then we hit primary key as you can see uh, zip code is now a primary key uh, that's how you change and 
and make primary keys to our to our data best design view um tables or L, whatever you call it uh that's how you do it guys uh please subscribe to the channel there's more tutorials uh still yet to come thank you very much guys please if you enjoyed this tutorial please just hit the subscribe button and more videos and more great fun still yet to come i promise you guys i uh, wanna hit 100 subscribers when i hit 100 subscribers uh there will be a prize uh for all to one of my subscribers please subscribe and take care bye bye